Our next speaker is an architect named Budi Pradono from Indonesia. And he will share with us his experience and disasters in Indonesia and how architecture can be resilient. Hello, Mr. Pradono, the stage is yours. Thank you for, for asking me to be a speaker in this uh, lecture. Thank you, Zen. Thank you, Carol. I, I would like to start to convey the positive values came from the bad disaster. I believe that uh, following a disaster, we as architects are born with positive instinct. The instinct to build something that will produce new and innovative solution in responding to the disaster. In this decade alone, we have experienced many disasters. Architects play a pivotal role in disaster mitigation and recovery after hazard events. Architectural design then serves to prevent or decrease destructive consequence of disaster on structure. Quite recently, the ammonic explosion in Peru that occurred in Beirut was one of the triggers to change the port uh, from innovation, security innovation system. It may also provide an opportunity to architects to create new icons on this port, to re regulate new mobility, to build responsive architecture in the port. I can already that the revitalization of this region will leave Lebanon back into position as pro-peace country. I'm sure that the new next generation is ready to bring in a new spirit in terms of mobility, a new facade or new urbanism. Can architecture make a significant contribution to the city? Will this be a base on tolerance or negotiations? By conducting a study of several phenomena that occurs in our urban culture, an architect is required to construct thought and summarize several disciplines, psychologists, sociologists, anthropologists, social activists to provide comprehensive input for the improvement of the future of our cities and the improvement of the future of our beloved Peru port. At the time when the world's economic condition appear to be deteriorating and uncertain political condition, while the world construction faced with the latest major environment issues regarding global warming, deterioration ecology, urban density, poverty, or post-COVID-19 urbanism, we must prepare ourselves for catastrophic events that lie ahead. Many architects behave opportunistically, ignoring relevant environment, constantly change of the role of architects as service provider only. I'm interested in a new phenomena in our city life that exists due to the advanced communication technology. At the same time, we are experiencing new wave of globalization 5.0, also referred to as the post-pandemic architecture. As the research-based architect firm, I will ask my, myself or my studio member, can architects play a bigger role in your agendas of, new, of change that go beyond architecture domain, who has far-sight vision? What we could learn from disaster architecture? This is what we learned from Ground Zero in New York, Actually, after the disaster, we can learn something new. Many architects join the competition to, get, to propose something new. And we founded many innovation on this. So we can see the result. Now we got uh, many architecture sculpture in New York after the disaster with the new higher typology. This is an uh, example, Bundle Tower engaged with the building mass rather than just with the disruption of the structure around the perimeter of frog legs. 
I believe this kind of agriculture can provide innovation beyond disaster. Later on, our proposed tower in Manhattan was Fitor, which is also a, a startup company's tower, offer a new typology of tower. You know that Manhattan Island is divided into city grid and have no choice to develop horizontally. The island is designed to extrude every land making in a place that collect various forms of towers. This vertical city group mutates pro programmatically until they reach its almost competitive point of commercial value. So Manhattan actually produced the skyscrapers as symbol of the victory of capitalism. When the, the two towers were destroyed by a deliberate threat of architecture created its pilot, it may also be attempts to disturb the existence of skyscrapers buildings. The Vito is an antithesis to a new challenge engine where, where it offered to mutate its skyscrapers and has merged with public space. The story will provide a wider public space on the ground floor, on the highest level also. It collection of space with a terrace like a staircase, a green public space in between separate towers will prov provide an awful sky terrace. On its floor facing the public space, it has been green as an oasis of tropicality above the altitude. It has become a new tropical garden in the sky. In its floor, it can accommodate affordable and convenient place. So this is uh, the movie that I, I try to, to bring it the, the new innovation. Katrina in USA in 2005. It is, it is a wind reaching 200 km per hour, accompanied by very large waves. The entire IS pass was safe, taking numerous lives at last of 200,000 square kilometers. After this, the disaster, Brad Pitt proposed housing of Make It Right from contemporary architects such Ajayi, Frank Gehry. They just made a new direction building with Paul and it is collection of beautiful houses. But it is important to note that there is no single material that serves 
as good fit for all kinds of hazard. For instance, research showed that the light, mid, and natural elements can increase the resiliency of buildings remarkably against some natural disaster, particularly earthquakes. But they might not be the optimal choice for flooding. In the water, the other hand, traditional wooden house may not exhibit the same resiliency against different types of natural disasters, such as floods, typhoon, as well as wildfires. Ideally, new build buildings should be built with the disaster resilience architecture plan in mind. So, this is one of uh, our example. It's a, a wooden tower in Durban, Africa. Try to bring the traditional structure of join of wooden join and combine each other. It is uh, using traditional of wooden house like a shipbuilding method that has existed since hundreds of years. And adopted has the toughness of defend themselves from earthquake, deep bonds, or even tsunami. So we call it this Nishawood Towers. <laughs> and also Jakarta flood. It's occur every year and in 2013 there were about 200 kilometers of land affected by flood with 48 people dead as a result. Then our studio proposed the Fluidscape City which has been exhibited at the IDES in Berlin in 2013. It is a time to respond to these catastrophic floods by creating a new smart city 
and in turn establishing a new type business district and residential area, combining a series of Archimedes Q with solar and wind power fans. The new system is not only serves to regulate the water level in the reservoir, but can also treat to serve and irrigate the neighboring lake. So the waterfront area will not only become a tool for educating people, but about the importance of water as a resource for everyday human life, but it will become a highly desirable destination. From some example above, I believe that catastrophic is an opportunity for architects to rethink our role and revive the region. This is the right time for architects to rethink the future of our city, the future of the port of the earth, by understanding the culture, its history, and new technology. I'm sure that students of architects will become the new generation triggering the government of Peru to rethink their own power in their beloved city. New build buildings should be ideally be built with a disaster resilient architecture plan in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Budi uh, Pradono. It was such an amazing uh, presentation. We loved it. I wanted to ask you if, uh, one question, okay? Can you hear me? Yes. If you were, yes. if you were uh, in Lebanon and you were asked as an architect to do a, some kind of emergency relief for the explosion of the port, imagine yourself you were asked to make an emergency relief right after the explosion. What will be your intervention? Just in a briefly. So actually, we have to divide into two parts. One part is immediate. The immediate link is to be a kind of temporary or uh, a port-like office, a port-like uh, housing. Uh, at the moment, people need it. Or a mobile, a healthcare mobile. So it is something that people really need. Yes. And and should be built very fast. But at, this, at the same time, we have to think the future, like uh, make a plan, make a competition to, to make a future vision, because it will redesign our new, uh, new urbanism, new networks, new regulation, and of course, new innovation on architecture buildings. Yes. That's very my nice. answer. That's very nice. I'd like to thank you very much for this amazing presentation and hope, hope to see you very soon. Okay. okay. Ciao. Ciao.